Yeah, that's right, David. And I think it's important to point out that these bills are nowhere near becoming law. In fact, they have not yet been scheduled for public hearings. So a long way to go. But I can tell you that the victims of Richard Gilmore, at least two of them, are optimistic. They say the way the system is designed today is just not adequate and changes must be made. It affects you forever. A tearful Tiffany Edens reflects on her rape at the hands of Richard Gilmore, who was released from his 36-year prison sentence back in December. In fact, you might recall Edens putting up flyers in the Old Town neighborhood, where Gilmore moved into transitional housing as a low-level sex offender. Edens said then, and again Tuesday in Salem, Gilmore is a danger. He will kill the next victim. He will kill that girl. That's why because Edens and Danielle, Danielle Tudor, another victim of Gilmore's, worked with state lawmakers on Senate Bills 1022 and 1023. Senate Bill 1022 would require the state to consider almost everything when assigning a risk level to a sex offender, not just what was admissible in court. The bill, among other things, would also require the state to do a better job of letting the public know where a sex offender lives. These are rapists, they're sex offenders, they're child abuse. Users. Not um, enough can be done, Eden says, to protect the public, and Tudor agrees. Gilmore raped her but was never prosecuted for it because it fell outside the statute of limitations at the time. Senate Bill 1023 calls for people like Tudor to be considered a victim and given access to information about their attackers, something Tudor struggled with upon Gilmore's release late last year. This bill really tackles all the obstacles that we ran into. Both Tudor and Edens alike say there should be no obstacles when it comes to something like this and they hope lawmakers on both sides of the aisle see it that way too. This is not a party issue. I hope that everybody can come on board with this because this is really a community issue and a society issue.